<laughs> hey everybody. Hi hey, everybody. Debbie. Hi. Hi everybody. Um hi Andy. How's it going? It's going great. Um actually had a really good day today. Um with everything and I, I've been getting so many friend requests so it's actually quite unusual um, but I share a lot of stuff like our shows and all of that on, on social media along with you and I think when they see our names or they see our videos and stuff I think it's really um, I, I know I'm getting a ton of requests so eventually probably turn it into like uh, a fan page instead. So, um, how about you? You've, your your vi your video froze for a second. Oh. Um, I've been really busy. Um, I had a deadline for a reading, so I had one long day Monday of reading all day long readings. I don't know how they do it at the psychic fairs. That's incredible. Um. Well, you know, like our lives are unpredictable and there's always stuff going on. Literally right before we came on, I got a phone call about somebody who was um, distressed because their friend committed suicide. And oh, no. I'm, I'm like, I have like five minutes and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going to take the time I need. But luckily it was a very spiritual person. And so, you know, we're talking about there's no blame and all of that. And um, I guess it was alcohol related type of thing. Uh -huh. Hi, Madeline. And so, um, you know, the guy, interesting enough, this, this young man had a near death experience in his lifetime and, um, and it stuck with him. And I told the, my friend, I said, you know what? A lot of times there's, there's some people that will, be uh, do risky behaviors because they're just programmed that way. And I said a lot of people that have gone to the other side in a near death uh, episode know how great it is. They're not afraid to die anymore. And I said I really kind of get that he wasn't afraid of dying, so he was uh, open to you know some risky uh, things that he did. So unfortunately, he passed. But you know. Um, he knew it was wonderful on the other side. He says, you just don't know how great it is, you know, when you pass over, how, how beautiful, how peaceful, mm -hmm. how wonderful, and how you really have all this love. And the biggest thing that he experienced when he came back was that lack of all that love that he had on the other side. So I said, he's, he's back in the love now. And I said, give him a little time and ask for a sign and um, he'll start communicating with you from that side. So I, I'm just literally, you know, five minutes before uh, we were going to be, um, you know, starting to talk and, and get ready for the show. I was like, okay. Um, but that's kind of my life. That stuff happens you know, all the time. Um, we'll switch gears a little bit. You guys, have you seen Michael on Comic-Con? We have some people watching now. Um, Michael uh, Mace Mason is um, uh, a great videographer and um, he's an actor and director, producer, everything. And he is at Comic-Con every day and we'll be going live through throughout the day on psychic fixes so he went today to show you guys a little preview because he's actually working with a vendor there so he gets to be in before everybody else gets to go and preview hi vicky so he is actually there um showing you how they set up and everything and i asked could you show the new backpacks and so he did and the backpacks this year from Comic-Con come with a special little pin in, on a card tucked into the backpack. So that was uh, that's a new thing. I get the, all the backpacks, so that's always fun. But I immediately went on eBay, Andy, to find out if they had them for sale. And they do. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> they go as soon as they get the swag bags. Now, swag bags, these people, when they go to Comic-Con, they get to go from booth to booth to booth to booth. And you guys, it's real easy for me to get stuff because I live in San Diego. Hey, hey Bree. 
And so uh, these little free things that they get, the little characters, anything will be for sale uh, right now on eBay and starting tomorrow, really. But they're not going to be able to uh, mail them until they're out of here um, after Sunday. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. I find all the stuff at the thrift stores, all the Comic-Con stuff, the guides, the mm -hmm. backpacks, everything, because... You know, we're in San Diego. The majority of people that are going are from here. And um, so anyway, um, that's uh, going to be a lot of fun. Um, Michael's quite a character, and he'll be uh, probably doing interviews with uh, who knows, celebrities, whatever. And a shout out to uh, our friend, Andy and I's friend, Londi Benson, not related to. Uh, only in spirit to Andy. Londi's two girls <laughs> yeah. are are were writing Batgirl Girls of Prey, and now they're writing The Green Arrow. And so they'll be signing on Thursday and Friday. Um, I was signing, or they're going to be part of a panel, I should say, Thursday and Friday at Comic-Con. So um, hopefully uh, Londi's going to try to hook up and find Michael in that madness of Comic-Con and um, get to talk with him and hopefully live. So enjoy uh, the whole week of Comic-Con with uh, Michael. Um, we need to talk about the story contest. You want to go ahead and talk about that, Andy? Yeah. So Debbie and I are going to be working on book two of little book of big evil that we're so proud of we've gotten really good feedback on it i know i have debbie i don't know about you um mm -hmm. but uh, the, my co-workers and so many friends <clears throat> have been out there and asking me about this book and telling me hey i can't wait to read it so that's so exciting mm -hmm. but um anyways with the story contest we are looking for scary stories, um, anything like that. Um, and we're offering $300 worth of merchandise, service, uh, readings. Um, Andy, did you, see, oh, did you see Did you see what I just purchased for the price? Angelina Jolie's uh, signed autographed yes. picture of her in... Yeah. Um, as Maleficent. Did you see it? I posted it. I did. I so did. I was successful in the auction and I thought that fit really good. And Angelina Jolie is a huge star. So hi, Sabine. So here's an opportunity to get tarot cards that Andy designed, a signed autographed uh, picture of, uh, hi, Sarah, of Angelina readings from us and a visa gift card it's a approximate yep. retail value of three hundred dollars hi brian so please and we're, we're very open to a um to paranormal uh or very um right. amazing spiritual stories okay and now when you submit a story you get one entry and you can submit as many stories as you want. We kind of would like a right. thousand words from you. That would be really great. So that's not too much. It's like two pages, right? Two pages of type pages. So um, it's a great opportunity to, um, oh, well, we didn't say the biggest thing. Some of the, some, maybe all the stories that are submitted will be in book number two, The Little Book right. of Big Evil. Um, part two, and we're gonna do a thrillology, so we'll have three. So we're so excited to be able to offer that, and what a great price. Now, it's not a prize for the, um, well, Brian, we'll hook you up with that, a signed copy, <laughs> absolutely. Write oh, a note, Sarah, Andy. thank you. Uh, so the biggest thing is, it's not the best story or the best, most exciting or scary or amazing story. We're going to do a drawing from all the entries. Absolutely right. fair. Everybody who puts one in gets an entry. So just go ahead and submit it. Now go to psychicfixes.com and on yeah. the title bar, it'll say story contest. Click on it and just paste your story right in it. Now I'm, 
I put that in so that it'll take uh, way over. It'll take like 1,800 plus words. So just paste your story in. If you have, if it goes beyond that, just do it in two different um, um, uh, submissions, okay? So it should be fine. So get them in so that you'll be in for that $300 prize. So excited. Um, uh, let's talk, uh, we're going to do a man, we're going to talk about manifesting today. We wrote a book, the many ways we both have our copy because we need it to follow along. We're going to be we doing do. a show, um, on manifesting today. We did have somebody that would thought they could get on as a guest today, but they can't. So we've always wanted to do this and we planned on doing a, a manifesting one, but let me tell you about some upcoming, um, things we're going to do on the 25th if you're into spells and wiccan stuff or just the natural energy herbs and crystals i really feel like that one that we just did andy was really good the five spells that we did oh yeah oh yeah. i love doing that and then we let everybody have the spells and i demonstrated it we're going to do it on the 25th and they're going to be spells for the full moon because on the 25th you have that day to learn and access uh, our documents on it. And then uh, that next night, you're going to put your stuff out. Because remember what I said, when people see the full moon written on the calendar, it's the morning. So it's the night before you put your things out, okay? And so I'm going to be talking about charging water. I'm going to be talking about putting uh, your things out and how to set intentions and how to do altars for things. So that's gonna be fun. And I did five the last time. And um, I think this one will, hopefully will be four or five, some really good ones. Depends on what we're gonna get into. Oh, Brie likes it. And um, I know Sabine has uh, just got that, uh, my Scott Cunningham book that I told everybody about. Oh, and yeah. Oils and Bruce, she, she did purchase one. And that is the one book that you have to have if you're going to do this. And if you don't have a lot of money, guys, that's the only one you need. That and the Internet will give you uh, a great base of uh, how to uh, mix things. I'm going to be doing love on this one. You know me. I like the protection spells and stuff but we're going to be doing uh love things on the 25th that i thought that'd be fun yeah everybody wants to do that um let's see and then uh friday i've got something to show you so friday we'll just we got to figure out something fun get a fun guest on but look what i have everybody just be okay with this but i have taco bell tacos oh Taco yes. gift card. We're going to give that. I keep saying we're going to give what tacos away. Never did. Oh, and you got your gift card. Great. I love McDonald's. I have to tell you, it's my my guilty secret pleasure. That's not a secret anymore. I love McDonald's breakfast. I mean, it all, I could just uh, eat it forever. But I do like Taco Bell. So uh, we will give that away on friday that'd be fun let's see uh let's see there's one more thing on my list do you have a list of things to talk yeah, about I, oh and your have, uh, readings too yeah um i did have one thing though i i was wanting to ask you a little bird mentioned to me that debbie who I know, who's my mentor, who's taught me how to read cards, is um, number one on Fiverr for psychics. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome. That's a big deal. That's, <laughs> well, um, that's uh, well, a lot of they, hard work. They have a, uh, they have a person that uh, has been on there for five years getting, you know, sampling and getting everybody's uh, readings. I don't even know how big Fiverr is or how uh, how many psychics are on it or any of that. I I totally don't pay attention to any of that. And I was informed that there's a, there's a gig where this person has, um, you know, identified the top psychics on the site. And um, so I was told that I was number one. And I was like, oh my gosh. 
God, and I first thing that I said was it, it, God is because God did this. God gave the gift to me. And um, the other side, the angels, everybody works with me to help people. And that's what it is. It's all about God. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that was really a neat that really was neat because as readers, it's great to get validation. And thank you, God, so much. I got to just be so grateful. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's part of what we'll be talking about in the book, too, mm -hmm. gratitude. But um, so grateful that that happened because we need that validation to know that we are continuing to uh, be connected and to help and to be right. Because that's the biggest thing when I'm teaching um uh, readers is that you know you we need to be right that's how we get our credibility we and we can't um you know we have to to uh hit the market each time we really do because we need to give the right inf information and so um it's just a, such a blessing and uh thank you andy thank you sabine yeah it was really great news yeah. it did, and and it's just that god is good and I'm on the right track. So it, that was really neat to find out. Thank you. But let's switch over to you. I hear now. No, no bird told me, but I know that you're doing <laughs> some love readings or and, and what else? Yeah. Um, Relationship I've been getting a lot of, yeah, I've been getting a lot of um, readings pertaining to um, relationships and love and whether this person it's really not them asking me whether this person is good for them. It's how I can get them back. How can I change them? Why or why am I not receiving love or receiving that person that I've manifested for? And which is what are the topics, you know, that I get questioned on. And, you know, oftentimes there's, you know, I, I'm still fairly new within um, manifesting. I mean, I did it years ago, but um, learning under Debbie's leadership, it's been great. So I still have questions I have to ask her. And when it comes to the relationships, um, people are just they're stuck. Uh, I get the feeling of stuck all the time, or they're not worthy of love, um, or the, they need to heal first. And Debbie, you mentioned something very important to me today that was an aha moment, kind of like judgment in the tarot. And that was just uh, knowing that, um, you know, the other side knows of what's for our highest good so if we need that we still need to heal from something that's holding us from manifesting that love right. or um that the other side wants us to go through healing and just to be aware of that right and a lot of times when the people say that um you know why isn't happening why isn't it happening you know they have to have an open heart they have to be uh healed and ready to um, go on to someone else. And it's, uh, you know, that right. is a, a big thing. If they're still stuck on this other person or heartache or whatever, it's so hard to bring that in until they're ready. And I'll see that when I take tarot cards and I see a certain, there's two certain cards that I get. I go, oh, good. Now you guys are ready. You are ready now to receive right. love. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm really glad that you're going to be doing that because then that gives you experience to, uh, you know, in, in because you know what? You know, guys, like 90% of your readings are going to be on love. Really. It's right. just like, it's yeah. so important and it's everybody's chasing it. Everybody. And, Honestly, uh, um, when you mentioned that, I remember you telling me when you first taught me, Debbie, uh, about the tarot was, hey, um, just so you know, majority of them is on love. Because in my mind, I always thought, it, well, shoot, if I had to ask a psychic, it would be about money. You yeah. Know? But, yeah. you know. 
Love so. trumps the money. <laughs> it really does. Um, I'm finding, though, we can look at it a little bit differently, too, that depending on where the people live in the economy and stuff, we may get more the money ones from different countries, you know, in different times when the economy is good, maybe they're focused on something else, but we have, you know, we have, we have to have money to live. It's so important, but we also need love. And mostly I'm getting the loved ones. Oh, look at Brian has. It's Oh, okay. Oh. Well, oh, okay. I'm glad that you are doing that and you have some really good friends that you can pull uh, information from if you have, you know, if you need it. So, right. um, um, but anyway, um, well, let's go ahead. Uh, do we have any other announcements? I think we're, I, oh, I'm filming on the 23rd. So, um, uh, our Londi, Londi's house, we're going to film at her house interviews for uh, a haunted investigation that we did. So that oh, is going awesome. to be on, I know we're making it into a movie and we're going to put it on YouTube. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, fun. So I know and may do a spirit circle this month too. So that'll be fun. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, manifesting. Um the first time I ever manifested, I didn't believe in it. And I tell all my clients this. I said, some girl told me, um, just tell the universe what you want and it comes. I'm like, yeah, you know, like, uh, that's a new one. You know, I didn't believe in it. it seemed too far fetched. Yet the first time that I manifested in detail, details, um, it happened in two weeks it happened and so oh, then wow. i knew yeah and and then i re-manifested um and in detail and in two weeks it happened again everything i asked for came in and that's when i went wait a minute um there's something about manifesting and so i went along for years um you know just manifesting this one way i call it commanding energy you know just one way and uh, because I didn't know any better and nobody taught me anything else. And then I met all these people that were getting incredible things. Private jet, get to be on that. Oh, meet, yes. So, meet celebrities, big sums of money. I said, how are you doing it? And so when they told me how, then we had the base for our um, book that we wrote, Many Ways of Manifesting. And so we want to teach you today, this can change your life. I mean, now, let's say, I mean, I manifested a husband, okay? <laughs> and I also manifest a little jack ball antenna thing. So, oh, yeah. So you could, you could use it for whatever you want anything small or the big things in life and what i did with that time i had bought a brand new uh, and i know you're going to manifest for a brand new car there andy uh, <laughs> yeah and i bought a brand new red car and i just loved the car and it was holiday time and they had party jack you know the little antenna ball. party jack oh, i wanted yeah. him so bad and I mean, I went all over the county and I called Jack in the box and I said, do you have yeah. any, save it for me. I will drive there. No, no, no. We are all out. There's just no way. And I was like still manifesting for that silly little thing. And so um, I was, I drove up to a, um, uh, a brand new uh, shopping center and um I parked way out of the way because I had a brand new car way out of the way. And I backed in and I was clear on the corner and there was only like landscaping and I opened the door and sitting right there was a brand new Jack party Jack and tenable. Oh and he wasn't, he was in perfect condition. He wasn't even in the, um, in the cellophane bag and he was just sitting there i picked him up and i go yay he did not fit on my antenna <laughs> oh no but he i still have him to this day and he's 
these um, suction cupped on my kitchen window. And that just is a reminder that you can manifest the smallest of things or the biggest of things, whatever your heart desires. Now, manifesting yeah. really is for the greater good of all. We know that. But unless it's learning a um, life lesson, so you're in place learning something that, you know, that you wrote into a contract before you were born, you can go ahead and manifest for these things. So Andy and I are going to go through all the little ways that you can manifest. And um, so you got your book, Andy? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, in our book, the first one that I just love this, the pictures, you know, the pictures, the skull. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, Zeta Global Radio is going to have the people talking about crystal skulls on Sunday. You get a chance to um, to go uh, listen to that. I listened to the MUFON one. Uh, oh. I'd love to have those guys on our show. We should reach out. So do you want to talk about affirmations or what do you want? I, yes. Um, well, yeah, let's do that. Let's start with affirmations. So um, affirmations, if I, I'm sure most everybody is aware of that, but affirming to me, it's like affirming something in a positive way for your highest good. Um, the way I think of it is just um, you, you, your thoughts are energy. What you put out there is what you're you're asking or telling the universe um, to give you. So um, you can do many affirmations like health, wealth, abundance, um, love affirmations. <clears throat> excuse me, daily affirmations. So it's just a whole range. And um, we like the idea of just tailor, don't just grab something off the internet. You can use that for inspiration. But if you want a, um, an affirmation, for example, we had one, I am open to receive all forms of abundance. So you're just putting it out there as an affirmation to the other side and to the universe that this is what you're open to. You're setting your intention. Um, your intention is that you're opening yourself up to receive. And that's, that's very powerful because we can often block ourselves from receiving positive things. So... So you guys, um, you can uh, say an affirmation over and over if you want, or just say it once out loud. Um, if you watch the DVD, The Secret, the guy goes to his uh, mailbox and he says, money comes easily and frequently to me. Money comes easily and frequently to me. So he'll say it like two times. Hi, Janelle. Like two times in a row every day. And then he said, all checks started coming in. So... Um, if you uh, wanted to get better health, you could just say, I have a healthy mind, body, and spirit. I have a healthy mind, body, and spirit. So as many times as feels right. But you're, when we speak, we know that the sound goes on forever, right? And we are bringing everything into us. And the reason, I'm going to do a sidebar here. The reason that I say everything out loud and I tell everyone, if possible, for you to say it out loud is uh, one day I was going to bed and I was up, or I it's like two in the morning and I had to get up at 7.30. I'm always up before that, but I decided to set an alarm. And so I was going to set it for 7.30. And so I said out loud, I'm going to send set this alarm for 7.30. But in my head, I said, give yourself 10 more minutes. So I did. So it was set for 7.40, but I said out loud, going to set it for 7.30. And so in the morning, I heard four knocks on the door to wake me up. Of course, it was spirit. Nobody was there. Four knocks on the door, and I looked up, and the clock said 7.30 on the dot. And I was like, oh, I didn't say 7. I didn't tell them that I wanted 10 more minutes. And that's when I went, wait a minute. Why? They're not doing telepathy with me. You know, 
they're listening to me because I said that out loud, but I did not say, I said to myself in my head, 10 more minutes. Mm. So then that's when I went, well, maybe the spirits that I have in my house don't do the telepathy thing. Maybe I can communicate with the angels or my spirit guides or whatever, but whatever was there that was working out, didn't get that 10 minutes. That's when I went, okay, just to be on the safe side, right. I always say everything out loud. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, you know, a lot of, yeah. And um, as far as affirmations go, um, I'm always, you know, going to the refrigerator. So I put a dollar, a dollar bill there with a post-it note. It's clipped there. Mm -hmm. It stays there. Nobody touches that dollar bill. But on the post-it note, it's being in gratitude. And there's a little thing I made up to say about, about, you know, thank you for the money that comes into my life and whatever else. And, and the abundance that's coming in, you know, in the future, whatever. And so every time I go to the refrigerator, I remember now to I see the dollar bill and immediately say my affirmation. So there's a lot of different things that you can do, uh, especially for to bring the money in. Um, so that was my little reminder to say that. Mm -hmm. um, so we do if you guys, you know, just make up anything that that um, resonates with you. Um, you know, one the short one that we have here, and I think Andy wrote these up is I am grateful for love. How mm -hmm. wonderful that is. I am so grateful for love. I am so grateful for love and feel it. Okay. So, or I attract love from all relationships, all kinds of really neat things that you can do. Um, I love this one. I am open to receiving love and meaningful relationships. So fabulous things, but daily, I'm a grateful for this beautiful day. Oh my goodness. Isn't that great? A lot of times people will come to me and they say, I've been manifesting and nothing's happened and my life is in the toilet and it's terrible and all. And I said, look at what you're doing. Are you grateful? Are you grateful for that life? Are you grateful for what you have? Ryan's grateful Oh, for us. Oh, You too, Ryan. Yes. yes. And so we have to be in gratitude. That's one of the things which we'll talk about a little later. But... Um, all kinds of things that we have here. I'm open to new and creative opportunities. You know, if things are stagnant, you just do an affirmation to open mm -hmm. that door so that you can um, have what you want come in. It's just it's and Debbie, amazing. That reminds me too that that affirmation would be a, a great one for love, uh, especially now. I don't know if the person... Um, I know me as a reader would offer this to a client or a friend or somebody uh, during a reading and, and say, you know, I see that you're um, maybe holding on to something that may not work out or whatever the outcome is that we had. And uh, this affirmation can help with that. So, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I always, and you should too, give something to your clients. You've done a wonderful reading, and Brian just said you did a great yeah. reading for him. You're so talented. And um, and Andy does mediumship readings. It's so great. Um, but I always do offer them um, a prescription. They get right. homework or they get a prescription. And I say, this is what I want you to do. And this is how I want you to say it so that they can immediately start changing that situation. And Ab Absolutely something. right on. That's a good way. Yeah. So you, so you guys, there's lots of different ways to manifest. If one way doesn't work, you try another one, right? Mm -hmm. Just try another one. And um, I use commanding energy all the time. And um, that may not work for people. I have a friend that does scripting or journaling, two different things, and they get all kinds of things. I want to write a book, Brian, that's your prescription to manifesting. I absolutely mm -hmm. do. Because it needs to be uh, customized. And if you're in a certain situation, there are so many things you could do. 
people, if you ever have a health issue, and we're going to do a show, and I'm going to show, I'm going to teach you how to heal. Last night, I got very sick. Uh, I don't have a gallbladder, and I tend to forget. And I was dealing with clients and I go, oh my gosh, I am absolutely really sick right now. So we tend to just go, I'm going to take Tums, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I immediately went, oh, hello, <laughs> I'm a healer and put the energy in and <clears throat> I was good. Totally my stomach was fine. So we, uh, we're going to get to scripting, uh, Brie. So, um, there's a ton of things that you can do if you have a health issue and always write to me on psychicfixes uh, at gmail, okay? Or psychicfixes.com contact us form. And I will tell you all the things that you could do. I mean, Thomas Nordwest has wonderful videos and I, I just love him. And um, anyway, I'm not going to go into all of that because we're doing manifesting, but there's so much that you can do metaphysically. So I'd love to do a book that's a prescription for, for all this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do the color breathing. Is that, is that okay? I'm going to yeah. kind of, yep. I'm even, we just talk about the next uh, chapter. We just talk about attracting abundance and well, that's fine. I want to talk about color breathing because it's a funny story. Yeah, and it's very interesting too because of I've never heard of it until um, I met met you. So yeah, it's yeah. amazing, you guys. Color breathing's kind of old, and it was a very much um, a, a science. Okay, it wasn't in the realm of metaphysical. It wasn't in the realm of uh, of um, you know, the gypsies did it or anything like that. It was a scientific thing. And it fell by the wayside in college and they, you know, kind of didn't do anything with it. And then it was picked up by the metaphysical people. And so um, I'm a retired librarian, if you didn't know. And I was a branch manager and some books had come in on color breathing and I grabbed them. And I was like, wow, this is really, really neat. But I go, the concept I love, a breathing in the color for different things like wealth, you would breathe in the green or healing might be blue. Mm. This lady wrote this book, very superficial. And, and it was kind of crazy because her before and after pictures were switched. So you knew this isn't real for what she wanted. She said it was for like beauty. And so I said, well, I love this concept. And, you know, back then we didn't have the internet like this. Okay. We can get on and say what's color breathing, which you guys can do now. Well, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. Um, but yeah, we can do, we'll do the color breathing with the healing and um, workshop. And then, um, so anyway, I started breathing in Pepto-Bismol. Does everybody know pink Pepto-Bismol color or a real pink? dark pink strawberry shake. Okay, so this was for beauty or actually it was a prescription for wrinkles. So I go, okay, so I'm in it. I'm gonna keep the wrinkles away because I didn't have any back then. So this is what I did. You could do it once or twice a day and you see the color in front of you. You take three deep breaths and we know we're going through the nose and out the mouth three deep breaths, and then you breathe in and see the pink go in or whatever color, see it go down your throat, into your lungs, hold it for 10 seconds, and then blow it out. But for this, you blow it out and see it go around your head. So I did this for two weeks, two weeks. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you know, because I will try these things. And it's the one thing I think God built into me is to step beyond and out of the box. And I'm so glad he did. So, okay, the funny part. Hi, Julie. The funny part of breathing this, I didn't see any difference. Okay. And I was engaged at the time. I didn't see any difference, whatever, whatever. So yeah. my friend's group were having a party. Now I happened to be in a very affluent area that my library was in. People such as the people that own Walmart live there, the people that own Robinson's from Robinson's Maid Company, and 
the man who uh, founded Petco. And I think it's fine to say his name. It was Walt and his wife, Betty. And they were good friends of mine. They were friends. And so I'm at the party with my fiance and they're there. And Walt walks over to me and he just looks at me and he just goes, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. And he's, you know, got my hand in my arm, Debbie, Debbie. And he's at my face. What did you do? What did you do? What'd you do? Did you go to book beauty college? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Look at you. There's a beauty. <laughs> beauty. What, what'd you do? What'd you do? And I thought, what the heck? Well, you know what that's going on. And he went over and he got his wife and he pulled Betty over. So Betty, 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 look at Debbie. Look at Debbie. Look at, look at her face. Like she went to beauty college. She got something done. And I was like <laughs> embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. I thought, what is going on? And so of course that, they went away and my my fiance came and I thought that was the weirdest thing ever. And as a lot of things happen when we manifest, it fell to the, the wayside. I didn't do it anymore. I just, you know, I didn't have time. I didn't think about it, whatever. Uh, you know, it didn't do anything to me. So we're going to fast forward many years. I meet up with my girlfriend from elementary school who has been a Wiccan all of her life. Strong, oh my goodness, her incredible grandparents and mother was psychic, but the grandparents were out of this world. And so she, you know, uh, grew up that way. She even went to school to be a parapsychologist. So anyway, she goes, I'm a soul practitioner. I'm going to be your mentor. So I said, okay, well, all right, I, I'm open. So I learned all about energy and all of that. We were sitting out and she was telling me about color and how you use the energy for color for your personal bubble and all the different colors or for whatever. And then she started talking. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you a story. I said, I did this color breathing thing. And it, and she goes, what color? And I said, I told her a story. I said, you know, like Pepto-Bismol pink. And I was telling her the story and she's laughing and she's giggling and she's laughing. I stop and I go, what, what's the joke? What are you talking about? She said, that wasn't for wrinkles, Debbie. That was for sexual energy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it worked. I said it worked that because I remember clearly what happened and I went I don't know why it just worked on it did end up working on two people and somebody else that would come in and the man would turn bright red I mean <laughs> I was like, and so anyway I stopped doing that so now this is a secret uh, to you guys if you if that's what you want to tra attract you need to color Get a bottle of pink Pepto-Bismol so you can look at it and breathe that color in and do what I said. But I'm telling you, this was the truth. This happened. So you can color breathe, especially for healing. And um, it, sidebar again, Hay House is having an incredible healing workshop online. And I've been looking at the clips uh, that they have. I bought somebody's book on it. So it's at the end of this month. If anybody wants to look at that healing, they have people that came back really from death. One person, one girl had uh, cancer tumor the size of lemons and she was 86 pounds and she came back from that oh, and then wow. this one yeah this one man who's a doctor who a long time ago you guys i'm old a long time ago i was let's go uh late 60s early 70s i'm watching this thing where they were talking about seeing pac-man whenever pac-man came let's say that pac-man eating cancer cells Oh. And that's how the people visualize healing themselves. And this guy was a doctor, so he had something mm. on his side where he knew anatomy. And he had gotten really like hit by a semi on a motorcycle or something. And he wasn't going to ever walk again. So he sat down and he visualized building those vertebrae back together instead of taking a very risky... Uh, surgery and I, it was weeks and he was fine and he was never going to walk again so the he, these people are going to be on the hay house um wow. go to facebook and put hay house in and um i can't wait i can't wait for that but anyway i know anyway we 
we have a lot to cover, so we better go on. So color breathing works, and that's the way you do it. Go online and get a color chart because, you know, if you ever have a printer, one has true color and one doesn't, they're skewed. Go on and try to find the right colors, and it'll tell you what they're for, and you know how to breathe it right now, okay? And you can use it for everything. Like white is a general, you know, white light of God. That's a general co good color if you don't know what to do. And um, turquoise is the color for healing. So um, if you guys need to need, know more, just write me and I'll tell you. I have to do the next one because it's a commanding energy. So go beef up on, well, can you do the crystals? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Command, commanding energy is the first thing I ever learned, and I don't have time to go into the story. And it's, it's really, fixes. it's really the easiest thing, too. Yeah. I think, right? Well, that's that's why I do it. You just say yeah. it out loud. When you command energy, you can just say, "Universe, I want." There is a blank. Fill it in. Now, this is one of the things, uh, Andy, when the people are manifesting using commanding energy, they're asking for love. And they just tell, oh, I want my, you know, the great person to come into my life and get married and be happy. And it's just going to be wonderful as my prince charming or princess or whatever. They never say when. They never tell the universe when they want that person to come in. And so I said, when they tell... I say, tell me exactly what you're saying. I said, do you know that you didn't put a time period in? I said, you can be in the home. You're 99 years old in the home, in the wheelchair, and that's where he gets wheeled in next to you. I said, you want them to come in now. So go ahead and always put that time time period that seems right to you, okay? And, um, oh, Vicky's finally back. So, um, Vicki, you can you can rewatch us anytime because this is forever. So, commanding energy, universe, I want. There's a blank. Fill it in. Now, that's all you have to do. Say it out loud. And it's not please, universe, please, universe, I'd like. Universe, I want. You're commanding that energy. Energy is out there. It goes on forever. We can grab it for healing. We can grab it and put out a statement of what we want. So you're commanding it by saying, universe, I want. Now, I'm always in gratitude. That's one of the things in here, in this book. I always say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Why do I say it in three? We all do goofy things. And it's not superstitious or it is. I have a lot of students that tap the deck three times and do this and that and the other. I just say, I'm in gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I end everything with amen and amen. Just me, I just throw that in there. So you could do that too. So uh, next thing we have is crystals and, and grids. Crystals and grids. Now, I do know our friend um, Brian that was just here. And it looks like he left for dinner. But he, when I went to his house, he had a crystal grid set up um, in his house and you know, they're very popular. I know people uh, offer that as a service as well, um, but you can easily do your own. So do, uh, do consider putting out crystals how you feel uh, intuitively, selecting them and putting them out. I know some people that charge $250 to put out crystals to take a pit, make a grid and take a picture yeah. for you. So, you know. To just whatever you feel, that's a beautiful one. I want to put it out. Uh, now, when I put out things, if it's wealth, it's going to be, you know, green stones, green crystals, green um, uh, jade, or uh, I have an emerald, or green calcite, or whatever it is. And then it's always good to state your intentions and, you know, uh, do an affirmation over them, too. Right. Yeah. Um, and then would you recommend putting those stones out in like during the full moon or, um, yeah, and I'll be talking like about char charging your crystals on the 25th. That'll be part of that one. Sure. And I actually put my a whole altar out with my crystals mm. on it, but crystals, you grids, you can put them on a platter. You can put them on the table whatever you want. Rick's learning. Great. 
Thank um, you. It, this is jogging our memory, <laughs> which is really good. Um, and um, but you want you know ever since I put made a uh, green one uh, in February, I've just been just yeah. beyond. Thank you, God, beyond busy. Uh, which is bringing in not only helping people, but bringing in money to make a livelihood. So it's great. The next one is gratitude. I think we've talked to that yep. a lot is always to be in gratitude. If you want something to come to you, if you're frustrated, things are going really wrong. I guarantee to everybody that would ever look at this video that there's other people have it worse than you do. So you, you have blessings to count. And so if you get into that attitude or, or to that rut where everything's bad and everything's whatever, you better get out because there's other people that would take your place in a second because it's better than what they're living. And you have this opportunity to, to manifest using gratitude and you have to get into it and you have to know, oh my gosh, count my blessings, write them down. That is also part of the journaling and scripting, writing mm -hmm. down your blessings every single day and add another one. Okay. And that is, that is, you know, that makes the universe happy, makes the other side happy. And it tends to, you know, bring in what you want. So, so we'll go to journaling um, and scripting. It's very interesting. So one will be, you can do a gratitude journal or a diary okay and keep a notebook so it would be doing uh writing down 10 10 things you're grateful for in every day reading those 10 and adding another one something like that and then that just when we are doing affirmations and we're putting out to the universe that energy of that that is in writing too it's when mm -hmm. we write, okay? Um, now, scripting is very interesting, and my girlfriend does does this. And I'm not going to tell the story. We don't have time. But she wrote down that she wanted to meet a celebrity. And she knew, mm -hmm. and she did use visualization. We'll go ahead and knock that one out right now, too. Yeah. Visualizing herself in the T-shirt with the guy's face on it, going to the concert, being backstage, meeting him and getting a picture, okay? So she visualized that. She also would write whatever she wants. Oh, it'd be like this, like for tomorrow. Today I've gone to, uh, I've gotten my t-shirt on for the celebrity and I've gone to the concert. It's a great concert. I'm having a good time. And oh my goodness, I'm going backstage. Oh my goodness, I'm getting my picture with him. What a great night I had, okay? Scripting. Did she, did that happen to her? Not only did that happen to her, she went back to a radio station and sat down and was invited to watch an HBO boxing special with, with this one celebrity. Wow. Truth. I mean, I, yeah. I know, I, I know it. that that works. Uh, Debbie, when I was in Vegas with um, a few years back, I met Katherine Jackson when everybody else didn't even know who she was, and that's Michael Jackson's mom, but she wasn't with the entourage or anything. And before that trip, I said, universe, I want to meet celebrities. I had no idea where or how, but this is in a, a rundown part of Las Vegas, and it's just somewhere you wouldn't even expect a celebrity, let alone two, because when we got there um, also, uh, Nicholas Cage was there as well. Within oh my a half gosh. hour of each other. And this is, it, it was like a giant uh, flea market or whatever they call um, in, uh -huh. indoor. But yeah, yeah. It's, um, you yes. manifest from that. Yeah. And the next thing here is rituals and spell work, which, you know, you're working with crystals that have energy. You're working with herbs and spices and plants that have energy. And um, then you're setting your intention when you do a ritual. And the rituals are for, there's no wrong way. And when I do the Wiccan things, I'll be telling you, there's no wrong way really to do this stuff. 
Um, the universe knows what you want. You're setting your intentions. You're showing the crystals or, um, or making, when I make magic candles, it's constantly putting in, just like healing, I'm putting the healing energy in. I'm hand dipping and putting the energy in and putting the energy in and making this. So when you're doing uh, the pagan or Wiccan things, you know, you are working with the universe and the energy and from the earth. So um, absolutely spell work. Thank you're you. saying it so you're just like you are saying an affirmation i am setting my intention for what i want to come out of this so absolutely and we'll be doing more and more of those type of uh of uh wednesday shows okay really fast tapping your way to abundance is eft if you haven't done EFT uh, or know about it, go online, please, and look at it. I have a good friend who's just absolutely fabulous, fabulous teacher. And I should have her on here. But it is to get away, get rid of bad habits, to help um, PTSD, all that stuff where it calms you down if you have panic attacks, all kinds of uses for it where that you actually are – uh, tapping on pressure points um, mm. on your on your body, and it'll be your hands, and it taps it down. If you were really someone who has anger management, would be a great tool. You tap it down, and you tap it down, and you talk your way down until it's nothing. Okay, so you can use tapping to bring money in. So that's why it's in my book. Do you want to talk about vision boards? Yeah, in fact, um, I, I still have, have I still have mine too. <laughs> we can show them off. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I can see what I'm doing here. But this I've is what this is my vision board. Um, a few of these things have already happened. Um, well, more than a few, I, I need to say. So. Um, <laughs> A lot of these oh, and I've gotten big things. I've gotten, I put a car on there. Oh, I had, yeah. I knew, I knew somebody who had a Camaro that I wanted. And he had an extra picture of it. And I put it on my board. And, um, you know, I took care of that man for several years. And he was 98 when he passed away. And his family came out. They weren't even around. And um, they handed me the keys. It had 19,000 miles on it. It was just a, it was such, such wow. a blessing. I was in such gratitude. And um, I had an antique table I really wanted that was in my ex-husband's family. And I put the picture up and I love that table. It's for someone who's a psychic and a reader. It's an antique table from like mid 1800s with glass ball feet. Oh yeah. And, the coffee. and brass, brass talons holding the crystal nice. balls. For that legs. I mean, I when I saw it, I was like, <laughs> I love them. Yeah. And my husband passed away, and my um, ex mother in law uh, reached out to me, and she gave me the table. So it was wow. really neat. I love it. I just love the table. Uh, so vision boards, paste what you want. Good, mm -hmm. good things. Anything that you want. This is the fun thing. I and there's nothing wrong with putting giant diamond rings on there, you guys. Yeah. You could put cars and you could put Rolexes and you could put whatever you want. You know, you just put your heart's desire, whatever you want on it. And you'll be so surprised when you go, oh, I got that or put your goal. Now, I want to tell you what I use. Women's World is in the grocery stores. It's a Christian magazine and it is full of all the really, really good words. You, it'll like you deserve cheers, cash, love, heart, superpower, love and laughter. It's got all these great things in it. So and it's hard to find a magazine that you can cut the words out. You know, you could cut the pictures of the stuff you want, but to cut the words out, that's a great one to get. Sorry. And then um, and then put it up so you can see it. Keep them. Right. And I love that. And Brie, I think, said that's her favorite. So visualizing is uh, another one in here. And that is the set. And see, see it happen. If you were to go and interview for a job, you visualize, this is what I'm going to wear. This is what they're wearing. I'm going to walk in. I'm going to shake that hand. 
I'm going to be dynamic. I'm going to remember everything and tell them this, that, and the other. Shake their hand. I'm going to get that job. I'm going to walk out. And there's so many people that visualize that, and they're really surprised when they get there and the person's wearing the same clothes that they visualize. Oh. <laughs> there you know, they, yeah, they're psychic. So, um, and then when you visualize and whenever you guys get what you manifest for, be grateful and acknowledge to the universe that you received it. You receive it with as a blessing and in gratitude. Now, the last thing that I have to talk about is your highest excitement in walking the walk. Walking the walk means if you want a new car, you walk in the steps that you need to to get that car. It means you go and test drive a car. You go shopping for a car. You do all of those things to uh, show the universe that you that's what you want to come in. That's what you intend to get. Um, now, being in your highest excitement, it's um, it's just being joyful when you manifest. Um, I see like in church, if you're talking about people getting healing, what is the one, there is people that go and heal quietly, but when you see churches and stuff, they just about to, when these people start getting healing, it's almost a frenzy. The, everything gets louder. The people are chanting the, the hallelujah, whatever. And the, and the band is getting louder and louder and louder. And then they're healing you are healed and those people are healed and you're going what happened they well they were in their highest excitement that's when a lot of things happen and one of the things when i teach protection is to go get john waller's our god reigns here and play it loud in your house yeah. at every stinking corner everywhere put it on in your car and nothing's going to be in there nothing's going to be in there that that turn up the volume and it's going to make whatever uh out get out so uh we use that being excited and being in joy to manifest okay so when you're manifesting it's like i'm so i'm so grateful thank you god so much for bringing this in universe i want no you can get it i have experienced it that's why i know it works and um and I want you guys to go and manifest something little if you want, something big if you want. But if you want to just try it, manifest something little to find something. Something's going to, you're going to find money. You're going to do whatever. This is my John Waller. Yes, our God reigns here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't write it in the books because I don't know about copyright or anything. But I know I could say his, his name. It is a fabulous kind of a rock and roll a uh, song and there it go he goes through what needs to get out you know um if it's bad health or whatever it's a fantastic you're going to get out bad spirits you're going to get out of this house for our god reigns here you know there's no room for you i mean it's really really good it's not like oh gosh how long do i have to listen to that it's very good uh song um so anyway that's really all the time that we have. We're over a little bit, but I think we went through almost everything in the book. And yeah. um, it is just really great. Find the method that is great for you. If you want to put a vision board up, do it. I tell the people that are dating, the girls that are dating, don't do the vision board. Because your boyfriend is going to walk in and he is going to see big pictures of diamond rings and, 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 um, carriages and and wedding stuff and that might spook him <laughs> so don't do that <laughs> but manifest universe i want that's my favorite thing i just love that one that's really been a pleasure to do this i love i love doing this yeah, Would you guys yeah. let me know if you want to do a protective magic because i'd love to do that book we we should do that yeah. i'd love to, yeah because you know oh, that's better. my go-to when people have you know, issues with uh, entities or energy or things flying off their counter, um, things that are not wanted. wanted. So um, I think I have, yeah, I know I have your book around here somewhere. I was going to show it, but yeah. It's oh, a, well, I, ha I, I have it if I can grab it. Let me see. Um, 
Which one do I have? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> uh, that would be this one. Protect yes. Magic. Okay. So we have yeah, the, yeah. the links in the description here to those books as well. Yeah. So. Remember, guys, our links that we put are affiliate links, and it gives us, I don't know, quarter. I don't know what it gives us. Not much. But it's affiliate link that we get a little tiny bit of stipend or a little money um, if you buy off of it. doesn't. It's the same price as if you bought it at Amazon.com. You click it, it takes you to Amazon.com. So anyway, we would appreciate if you if you could use that whenever you buy a book. So I think we're ready to go. Now, Friday, I'm not sure what we're doing, but I know we're giving away tacos. Yes. Now, you guys, we do free readings, free readings for the at 7, um, 7 to 730 on Fridays. But our show starts at 630. Hopefully we'll have another medium or somebody on with us. It's a tough time because a lot of people are at Comic-Con that are here. They're they're right. going to be gone. That's a a real popular day for Comic Con is Friday night, so or for all day Friday. So San Diego has gone into their 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 zone right now. Starts tomorrow, mm -hmm. and so watch Michael. He'll be um, showing you all the great things at Comic Con starting tomorrow, or he might be on later. But he's only going to show show people setting up. <laughs> so, but he did show the backpacks. So are we ready to go to the lobby, Andy? Yeah, we are. All right, so, guys. Um, everybody, good night. And stay do, safe. yep, stay safe and continue to manifest and change your, okay. change your future. Change your life. Change your life. Your life. All right. Yep. Bye. Bye. Good night.